I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. So I mentioned before that there are certain effects for which you'll want to use the edit and color pages together, and image stabilization is one of those effects. So I'm going to scroll back to the beginning, and if I play through this clip, you may be able to see that there's a little bit of wiggle as the wind blows the crane that's holding the camera. So I'm going to open up the color page and we'll take a closer look at this clip. First, I'm going to click clip one and I'm going to turn that unmix control back on so that we can see the whole clip. And as I play through, you can see if you look at the horizon, I'm going to zoom in and then middle click and drag to pan that the camera is kind of wobbling around a little bit. So we really don't want that from a nice smooth shot. I'm going to right click and choose zoom to fit. Zoom back in. So what we're going to do is open up a new palette. This is the tracker palette. And the tracker palette's mode pop-up in the upper right hand corner has a stabilizer mode that we can open. So if we go back to the beginning of the clip to use the stabilizer, we simply click this stabilize forward button and let Resolve do its thing. It's going to analyze the clip, trying to figure out where all of the motion happens to be. This is very similar technology to that employed by the tracker for tracking windows. You'll see that in a little bit. But Resolve automatically places tracking points throughout the scene and uses these to analyze all the different points of motion that there are. So once that's done, the only thing you have to do is choose how much motion you want to keep using the strong and smooth parameters. Strong determines how much you want to lock the clip down. 100% means you want to lock that clip down as if it's not moving at all. But of course, there is some camera motion, so that wouldn't necessarily be appropriate. Smooth dictates how you want to mathematically smooth the quality of motion. So by reducing strength to allow some of the original motion to come back into the shot and increasing smoothing to mathematically even out the motion so it's not so wobbly, all you need to do is click the Stabilize button and Resolve does the math it needs to do to get that little bit of wobble out of the shot. Again, if I zoom in so we can see the horizon, you can see that this shot is a lot smoother. And if the amount of transformation required to smooth that out introduces blanking or black around the edges, and I'm going to zoom this to fit and play, you can see the edges are wiggling around a little bit. You can click this zoom button and then just click the stabilize button again to reapply the effect with the new parameters. You only have to analyze the clip once, and then you can change the strong, smooth, and zoom parameters as much as you need to, clicking the Stabilize button to refresh the results every time you make those changes.